Hi, my name is Carlos Gomez, and in this video, I want to talk to you about one of the greatest Old Testament theologians uh, of this com of this present century. His name is Dr. Walter Brueggemann. Dr. Walter Brueggemann was born in Nebraska in 1932. Uh, he was the son of two German evangelical pastors. Uh, he lives as a student in the times of the Vietnam War. And later on as a professor, he saw the problems and the issues about segregation and how the civil rights movements were looking to uh, give a solution to this problem. Dr. Brueggemann went to study uh, sociology in Elmhurst College. And later on, he got his bachelor's degree in Old Testament uh, from Eden, Eden Theological Seminary. Later on, he gets his degree in, all, in theology, his doctorate in theology. Uh, from Union Theological Seminary in New York. Uh, Dr. Brueggemann's work, uh, his academic and his scholarly effort, was to give the church tools uh, to face social issues and how do they matter to God. So he went to, le to give lectures to churches, to universities such as Yale Divinity School and Vanderbilt Divinity School. Also, he, he functioned as editor of a, a magazines such as, such as Sojourner, which talk about faith and social justice, and he also was a president of the Society of Biblical Literature. So, the method that Dr. Brueggemann used was a method that one of his professors in the Union Theological Seminary was promoting. Uh, this is a form. This 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 way of met this method of study the Bible was called form criticism, in which for Brueggemann. The way in which uh, the Bible is structured, is crafted, matters. The words, uh, the poems, uh, the, the prayers, uh, the songs of the men tell us something about the biblical faith. This hope that is within the story of Israel, but studying just only the story and the history of itself, uh, we cannot comprehend that hope unless we see the way in which uh, the authors of the Bible wrote it. For him, this method is to pay attention uh, to the way in which uh, the passage is, is written, the language that it used, and how it can help us to understand the relationship of Israel with God. He also talks about two things that are intention in the Bible. Uh, legitimate, he talks about something called le structural legitimization and embracing pain. A structural legitimization, or common theology as he talks, is the idea of a God who has rules, uh, who imposes these rules and expect to be obeyed. But uh, there is this aspect called embracing pain, which is like a human um, experience in which God is not looking just idle, but he sees uh, the pain and the sorrow of his people. He hears their cry, which is a cry in which the people of Israel need to acknowledge that this God is not a God that um, uh, just is above the fray, but is in the fray, and that he cares about uh, his real life problems. This method, this way of seeing, this way of embracing the pain uh, can help us to discern what Brueggemann calls hope within history. Uh, to understand the way in which the authors of the Bible uh, crafted and wrote with this uh, um, feeling of hope that God is doing something, this, this, this thing that he also called prophetic imagination, which is the belief that in the midst of darkness, in the midst of the exile, in the midst of uh, oppression, that God is doing something great for his people. And he said that this form of understanding this theological message is through the study of form criticism. Words matter. Words tell us something about God. His method I think it's a great method and it can help the church to address this social issues and help the people to understand uh, that God and uh, in his word as a full reveal, Old Testament and New, uh, reflect that God is a God of hope and that he is caring and loving of his creation. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you.